what's up lovely people welcome back to my channel so today i'm sharing this two peas recipe so over here i have my peas which i've been soaking overnight and to that i add about six garlic so these are all the other ingredients i have coconut milk chopped onion scallion thyme scotch bonnet pepper ginger tried colored bell peppers carrot dispelled flour to make the spinners and all my seasonings now the full list will be listed in the description so make sure you check that out So the first step is to cook the peas so you want to add all of the soaked peas along with the liquid and garlic to your pot now if you have stomach issues with beans or peas i would suggest that you drain that liquid and then add some fresh water so just to give the peas a little bit more liquid to cook i went in with about a cup and a half of water i add my onion i'm gonna add some thyme just to give the peas some flavor as they cook i'm going in with my allspice if you have pimento berries you can always add those as well and i'm also going to be adding some seasonings you can choose to add salt as well you just want the peas to cook with taste So allow that to boil and you can occasionally check on your pot to see if you need any more liquid and if you do just add a little bit more water okay the goal now is to just make sure that the peas are cooked properly So in that meantime, I'm going to go ahead and start making the dough for the spinners. Now this is just plain spelled flour. And as I mentioned in some of my other videos, there's no need to add any salt to this, okay? I mean, you can choose to add a little bit of salt if you want to, but this is just plain flour and water. So what you want to do is to gradually add some water until you get to a firm dough, okay? So at this point, my peas are halfway cooked, so I went in with my coconut milk. And you can also choose to remove some of your thyme stems at this time, because, you know, the pot already get the flavor from the thyme. So you want to cover this, bring this to a boil, and in that meantime, I went ahead and grated my ginger. And then afterwards, I'm going to add that to the pot. So you want to cover your pot and give this about five minutes now after that five minutes you're gonna go in and add your spinners so what you want to do is to break a small piece of the dough and then roll it in both palms of your hand until you get to that shape okay that's spinners So after adding all your spinners you want to stir your pot properly and then you're going to add the bell peppers and carrot So the next step is to season the pot so i'm going in with some scallion and make sure you slightly massage the scallions before adding them to the pot this is just to release the flavor So now it's time to add some dried seasoning so i went in with some vegetable bouillon followed by coriander old bay seasoning saison and some black pepper now you can choose any all-purpose seasonings of choice that you're comfortable using already So 
so after adding all those seasonings you know you can do a little test taste and see if you need anything else if not just cover your pot and allow your stew to simmer down So as I mentioned earlier, just cover your pot and allow your stew to simmer down. And let me tell you, this smells amazing. And on top of that, it tastes so good. And the stew is not ready yet. Make sure to occasionally check on your pot and thoroughly stir your stew. Okay? Also, because we're making stew, we want a thicker consistency when compared to soup. However, if you need a little bit more liquid, Go ahead and add more coconut milk. So you want to cover your pot again and allow your stew to simmer down. This should only take another 10 to 12 minutes before the stew is ready. So just a few minutes later, look at this. The stew is coming together nicely. So I'm going to give this another stir. And then put my stove on low heat and give this another five minutes. So at this point, stew peas up and running. This looks amazing and it tastes even better. You can also choose to remove your scotch bonnet pepper at this point as well as some more of the thyme stems. To go with these stew peas, I made some plain rice, kale and tomato salad and fried plantains. Like honestly, this was so, so delicious. And this ends the stew peas recipe. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for some more amazing recipes.